American State Starter Pack Famous Brewery Off-Brand Theme Park Criminal who's become folk hero Town abandoned after disaster Terry who obviously has to drive this car Wildly unpopular politician that's been re-elected six times New Amazon Warehouse Don't forget recently on fire and Oh, I mean, they're not wrong. Most American states probably have at least five out of nine of these things. This is like the perfect American stereotype. Construction of a building. We have day one, day three, day three months. Wait. <laughs> three years in, and then exactly one day later, it's all built. I don't understand. I feel like I wake up one morning and, like, the game finally generates the graphics for this building. Is that what's going on? Tourists visiting literally anywhere else in Mexico. I can't believe this is in Mexico. Can't believe this is in Mexico. This is in Mexico? Whitesicans? I never knew Mexico was so diverse. This is so different from Tijuana. Okay, wait a second. Is that really Mexico City? Because that is pretty different. Okay, I'd be lying if I said I knew it looked like this. I can't wait to visit Mexico one day and make one of these same exact videos. I terrorize European public space. Energy drink and smokes these shoes usually says, what's your problem? You have a problem? I have no ID. Why you need ID? Oh, I do like these jackets though. Always a cracked phone. Got some Adidas pants and litters. I don't know who exactly terrorizes European spaces, but okay. Geek in a movie slash show. Main nerd is a white guy, either really fat or really skinny, usually wears glasses. Token hot nerd girl, Jewish character. Quiet emo girl, black guy, Asian or Indian guy. <laughs> Is that Freddy W? <laughs> Alright, y'all need to stop now. Upstairs, neighbor starter pack, drilling at 3 a.m., walks with these brick shoes. Arguing, kids running, loud music, moving furniture. It's always like at 3 a.m. Trust me, I know. I am the upstairs neighbor. The signed out of YouTube videos they suggest. Of course, Mr. Beast, some random video about how Pizza Hut declined. More Mr. Beast, I get paid to break into homes. Okay, I've never seen that before. Even more, Tom Holland, he he. Oh yeah, of course it's automatically in light mode. And then random movie scene. Signing out of YouTube is like a whole nother world of YouTube. American buffets be like corn and green beans that are beside each other and always seem to get mixed up. I mean, doesn't every place pretty much have a fountain drink? Rolls and biscuits, good mac and cheese. That's the key. It's always good. And then pretty much just like cold dessert. It's like average. But for some reason, I just love buffets though. School's over for the holidays. Let's crowd the local gym now. This backpack literally only does curls. This hair cut these shoes face like this I can name like four guys that come to my planet fitness just like this US student in Asia for a year it's always his hair I don't know how this is so accurate your friend from work whose shifts you have to cover until he gets back but you don't mind because hours have been scarce lately loves Jojo but not anime is that what that is respects himself hey I have this picture has true respect for history slash culture but is also a total weeb well that's the thing is the anime and the weebness of it all gets him to go to Asia but then he's able to develop a more deeper knowledge of the culture. So in a way, the anime is a good thing. Teaches Taekwon, takes it seriously, has one of these, but fills it with American food. Speaks the language relatively well, but needs some refining. Is a good sport and won't get mad. They're always pretty cool people, I feel. The movie kid be like, watched American Psycho once because of Christian Bale. Loves MCU movies. Okay, already, already, you're describing two very different movie kids. Because then you put Tarantino equals art house. Oh, wait, I, I see, I think. Okay, this is not the pretend pretentious movie kid, but some of these kind of still threw me off. Oh, maybe he's still evolving to that pretentious level. Korean movies are lit. Knows that Parasite must be good. Watch Squid Game. Has <laughs> heard of Train to Busan. Give him a couple years. He's only gonna be watching black and white Hungarian films about the evils of capitalism. The treasure hunter stereotype. Now, I don't see these guys as much as I thought I would as a kid. In every movie and cartoon, they have these guys everywhere. I've seen like two in real life, and I'm actually really excited. It's like spotting a rare Pokemon. Can this hobby make a comeback? I'm gonna like actually inflate the market with these guys more by like dropping a bunch of like gold chains randomly in the beach. We'll see this species make a return. High school bully stereotype. It's uh, it's basically just me. I was not a bully, but I'm saying that it, yeah, yeah, okay, let's move on. There are only two types of Florida white girls. Loves black and Hispanic men. Has this Miami hat. Loves KFC, wears these shoes, but definitely drives a beater car. Oh, okay, I can't even say the other side of that. Um, yeah, cowboy boots, McDonald's, drives truck. Nice to finally see someone else besides the Florida men get some limelight, though. I love the winter. See, you just have to bundle up. Waking up at 4 a.m. to shovel the freaking snow. No, it's just allergies. 
Oh, nice. The weather looks looking great today. Maybe this is the last cold snap. Lean into the skid. <laughs> I really do not fully understand the horrors of winter being from LA. And I feel so uncultured for not understanding. Like, I kind of want to go move to a northern state for an entire winter just so I can learn how bad it really can be. Because currently, this is me. I don't walk places. I don't drive. I don't work outside. Well, I live in California, but my walls are thin. This was made by people who can't afford winter. Seriously, it's expensive. I don't understand what that means, but all right. Too young to be a millennial, too old to be Gen Z. I feel like I'm firmly a millennial, but I relate a lot to this. I had these Razer phones. I went to Blockbuster and Hollywood Video all the time. I know all these shows easily. Oh yeah, I guess it depends on what you define as Gen Z. I've seen some people define it as 1995. Is that true? This says 1997. Why is it so confusing? And I thought for sure after 2000, 2000 and after Gen Z. Oh, a millennial is born anywhere between here is 1980 to 1995. Why don't we just do round numbers? I don't understand. Like it's way too overly complicated. 1960 to 1980. That's Gen X. 81 to 2000 millennial. Boom. 2001 to now. Gifts for him on Etsy. Now I just kind of wanted to look at this one because I've noticed that literally nobody in my life has ever gotten me anything like this before. I guess I'm clearly not manly enough. It's always rustic. It's always leather. Always like with these wallets and whatever this is. Band. Dan. Wait. No. See I don't even know what it is. Well I'm not a grill master so that's like my own fault. Personalized beer. Don't like beer. Oh man. I don't know how this meme about uh, gifts for him turned into like a personal attack. Stereotypes about people making New Year's resolutions. 2022 is gonna be my year. You notice how people stop saying that after the first weekend of a new year? But very quickly that turns into oh god I can't do this anymore. I'll just skip one day. I can do it later and there's always next year. It's depressing. Do people even try New Year's resolutions at this point? Ah uh, the Hispanic stereotypes. Hey I have those earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, and I kind of have these shoes too. I should maybe redo my DNA test. This is just Gen Z right now. I don't think you could say this is one specific type of person. The game you stop playing eventually because it gets boring. Most shooters, too little variety slash maps. That's a little sussy. Splatoon 2, online matches become repetitive and boring. I don't even know what Hungry Shark World is. Aw, Mario Odyssey. Here's the thing, all these games still have a chance of making a comeback because they're still being included. And I'm like, oh, these games are boring, but we're still talking about them. Ain't nobody talking about Fall Guys anymore though. Awful Christian movies. White male protagonist who is relatable but has no personality. Ah uh, yes, very diverse cast. Plot is either about keeping his faith on a modern world or overcoming a huge challenge. This guy, in case you didn't notice, this person's a Christian. <laughs> protagonist finds the strength and answers to carry on reading probably. At what level do you think that movie kid we saw earlier just becomes the Christian movie kid? Is that a level below Train of Busan? Every romance anime starter pack. The beach episode! <laughs> Those are my faves. Please welcome our new trans for student handmade valentine's chocolate uh Okay, literally every episode 12. I love you. Ooh, love triangle and incest. Mm. Mega diverse countries where it snows, but everyone thinks it's just hot. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised by some of these. Mexico, India, Australia, and Brazil. I'm trying to think where specifically in these countries it does possibly snow. Mexico has a lot of mountains and hills. You'd be very surprised how like much rough terrain goes on. Not crazy at all that India has parts with snow in it since they're so close to the Himalayas. Australia is a little shocking. Is this close to like Tasmania? Mania or something. I mean, Australia is literally just a massive desert continent, and I can't think of much mountain ranges. This has got to be like, uh, I don't know about this one. And this Brazil one is a little surprising as well, but maybe this is close to Peru next to the like Andes Mountains. Oh, it looks like most of the cold temperatures really come from the south here. I guess I should have known that. The equator is like pretty far up there. This spot specifically. Oh, there are actually some highlands and plateaus where it snows in Australia too. We've got something called the Victorian Alps. That's a pretty cool name for this place. Janitor in movies. Naps in the janitor's closet. Always balding. 50 to 70 years old and comes from Mexico, Poland, or Russia. This is very oddly specific. What type of shows is this person watching? Ah, uh, the Karen couple. They always look like this. They wear these clothes. I'm ex-military. They definitely use Facebook a lot. It's always at Walmart. American flag outside. This is the US. I feel like the whole Karen thing has really just been driven into the ground at this point. Ah, uh, yes. The Tarantino movie. Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. More Samuel. He narrates for like a second in this movie. What movie? A lot of MFs in there. New generation of Pokemon. Yeah, this is 
is like a whole other world to me. Absurd villains, well, they've always been pretty absurd. Regional forms, divorced parents, MILFs. Pokemon based object, oh, of course, uh, Kanto Nostalgia. It's packed with that, I'm not surprised. Dragon, pseudo legendary, regional bird, generic rodent. Did they turn Charizard into like the blue eyes white dragon? How the UK celebrates New Year's. Uh, 800,000 whiny kids with toys everywhere. Random geezers you've never met in your entire life. Hundreds of these bad boys. Oh, you guys like Stella over there? Auntie that's constantly wants a kiss. This being the only food for 10,000 miles squared. As an American, I find this stuff so interesting. There's literally no reason for me to know this information, but I'm loving it. Dad's cup holders be like, dirty old coin with some gum. Always the toothpick. Okay, I'm clearly about to be a father or I'm a father to some unknown kid because this is exactly my car. I, who cleans their car? Like thoroughly with like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm really outing myself here, but I just... I, the worst childhood pain of your life. Yeah, whatever the heck this is. I don't even know what that is. Stepping on Legos, broken ankle. Pinching your chin in the zipper. I've pinched some other things before in the zipper. And I could tell you that was for sure the worst pain of my life. Lame ways you got a debilitating back injury. Wait, what? Taking off your shirt, leaning over, a sneeze. Uh, getting down and getting some socks, playing with a puzzle. Okay, sleeping on the snow. That's not lame. That's understandable that you would have like a lifelong back injury. Trying to get your purse. Maybe if this person got into a car crash. I've seen these in no-no videos before. I can understand. All right, now I am going to be terrified of doing everything. Clearly, it's always an option to have your back just give out. The tactical product infomercial. Nick Bolton there. 1-800-000-000. Probably some guy that's like always talking, deep voice. Waterproof. Double offer. Runs it over with the truck to show how tough it is military tough yet light as a feather I gotta admit this is one of my favorite brands of commercial out there there's like a whole MCU for commercials marketing to certain groups of people in the US generic girls versus boys memes basic historical reference to Germany or Russia references Minecraft and Star Wars probably like 12 and doesn't understand the implication of the meme girls according to them well there are a lot of girls that are basically Billie Eilish right now I will say that but I don't know I don't think anyone under like the age of 25 still loves the Titanic the most basic girl obsessed with Asian culture. Ooh, the girl version of weebs. I want a Korean boyfriend. Always an A+. Plus. Always these phone covers. Yep, takes like cutesy pictures of their foods. Loves BTS. Yes, yes. Has to have like perfect stuff for their education stuff. Yeah, when they say Asia, they really just mean South Korea and Japan. That's why I think we should just ship them all out to Kazakhstan. These are just female weebs. I know that weebs can be female, but this is like a, a different uh, brand of them. Female leads in historical movies. Does not like corsets. Prefers men's clothing. Is young, middle, upper class and conforms to modern beauty standards yeah like in 2020 not of the time period as a job that requires education is one of the bros I'm told it's the latest fashion in London well women in London must have learned not to breathe I feel like historical movies are just becoming more and more funny the way Hollywood makes them Italian American man in a movie slash TV show named Tony Louis Vinny Mario Johnny from New York New Jersey or Chicago probably has the connections to the mafia of course likes wine dresses like this either rich or poor no in between sometimes the whole movie is just filled with these people Japanese character in an online game. Their map, either a ninja or a samurai. Then there's the ninja throwing stars. Has this over their face. Has this tattoo. Futuristic katana, this mask. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's kind of bad. You would think there'd be more character development here. Dude, you only bought the base game? Payday 2, CK2, EU4, then Train Sim World 2. Be quiet, devs are at least adding new content. Is this literally what the EU4 workshop page has become? Actually, what am I talking about? Of course it's become this. I'm not surprised. Don't forget the Sims. The Sims also had an insane amount of DLC, and there was never any deals for that. It was like once a year. For everything, it could be almost $500 if you include the base game. YouTube merch be like, pink for girls, black for boys. Their generic logo on solid t-shirts and hoodies. Generic logo on this coffee mug, or a quirky, random, unfunny inside joke written on the back of the t-shirt. I can proudly say I have never done this, and I've been horrified to do this for like the past 10 years. I literally just sell stuffed animals with flags on them. <laughs> and big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog, I Love Mark, Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy, Luxembourg Lover, King Corey, Drew's Argentinian Grandpa, Canadian Union, Dalton D, Bring Back Poland, Barnsky W, Aryan After Hours, a Fat Norwal, Alfonso M6, Ivan Lima, Majestic Unicorn, Populous Michael, Max Cooper, Mick Blorf, Mimo Shiki, Mind Brothers 999, Robert Philip e, R. And Ride the Pie.